Hi everyone. Today in this tutorial, I will show you the features of Vista softwares. So, in the screen, I uh, we see the crystal structure. It is the MOS2 crystal structure with lattice type P and space group P63 M and space group number is 194. And the lattice parameters of this um, MOS2 crystal structure is 1.A equal to B. 3.16 and c equal to 12.32 so and alpha equal to beta 90 and gamma equal to 120 degree as this crystal structure is hexagonal so now i will show you the features of the vista software so um, now i click on the screen and we just uh, move the move my screen uh, move my mouse so we can visualize the crystal structure in different direction i mean as a required so now we will show how we will um, um, change this structure according to the uh, according to this software let's see by clicking a we um, look this crystal structure along um, along a <coughs> along the axis so just i click on a so this is the view of um, crystal structure along a axis i mean in this part we see observe the um, um, observe the crystal um, axis this is the along a axis is directed upward from the screen and now i click on the b so now the b vector is directed outward to the screen so during in that time the crystal look like that now i click on c along c axis so c along c axis this look is that so and this is dotted um, is continuous black region is the unit cell of the crystal now i am click uh, view um, along a star axis means it is the reciprocal lattice vector axis so a axis and now b star axis similarly and c and uh, after i uh, moving this structure within any arbitrary direction now i can click on the standard orientation of crystal shape on the screen and let's see what happened after clicking this this look like a standard i mean it is the best 3d view of the crystal so just we can um, get this view by clicking this tab standard orientation of crystal shape and now i am coming to the next so how i will rotate this crystal so now i am going to rotate along x axis so as we click on that part so the axis is rotating along x axis now i am through the rotated along x axis in opposite direction anti clockwise direction by that key along this we can move along y axis in that we can again in y axis this is along around z axis and this is also around z axis so and this is the step step means uh, for each click it can move with that value so let's see it we make our now 20 let's see now in this for each single now i click on that part for a single click it move 20 degree And this is this is the <coughs> translator of the crystal view just upward this is just downward this is the left side and means uh, if you want to see this image and this image in somewhere or need to be in close of both the picture so I will click on that left left translator word and yes so this is the use of that part left hand side right hand side and this is again the step this and that one is and this is the for zoom in view and this is the zoom out view. and this is the full screen view and this is the step again so how much it will zoom out or zoom in or zoom out it's okay now i come into the left part what is this feature so on that part is the selector 
so by clicking on that part we can select the each atom or each each atom so now i click on that part let's see so now i am click on that part so this that is selected and now i want to delete that part just i put delete button so let's see this part is deleted okay for undo we press control z okay and this is the translator again we can after clicking that part we can move this crystal along any direction as our requirement this is the magnifier and this is this ha huh, this is very important part so we can measure the bond length between these two atoms so now let's see i click on that part and now i am clicking on molybdenum atom and okay let's see now i can on that part click on that atom that atom one part is selected and another one is this one so the distance between this molybdenum and this upper one is around 2.4 angstrom so this is the distance between the two atoms and now i this is the angle so angle between the two atoms i mean angle between the atoms so this angle between these three atoms is around 55.6 degree so this is the, and this is the uh, dihedral angle and this is the interfacial angle i don't know exactly what these two properties are so now i come into the okay let's see now i come into the features style part so um, we can view this structure by different type like space filling so as we, if we click on the space filling part this is look like that and if i uh, click on polyhedral then look like that and this is the wire frame structure and this is the stick structure so this is the most common use structure so we just click on that part this tab is inactive so i can't do anything in those tab now come in tools tools so let's see what happened animation so as we click uh, click animation animation part so we observing that the crystal is moving around around one axis so now let's see we click, uh, click on the around axis so now crystal moving around x axis if you click y click on y direction so crystal moving along y direction let's see click on z direction so the crystal moving along z direction so this is the use of that part okay now come into that part let's see now i come into style part of objective objective so in that part we can change the color also by clicking that part so let's see we change the molybdenum color okay molybdenum color now molybdenum color has been changed so click on that part also let's see we change it red one so this is the fully different color so by that by clicking on those um, um, part we can change the color of the atoms so and we can also change the view along i mean just click on atom part to let's see first atoms are removed so if i want to see atoms then I click on atom person bonds if i do not want to bond angle then click then just uh, remove the tick from the tab and if um, this is the polyhedral part so if it's so i click on those parts let's see now i come into the bottom part properties so i'm click on so property it is a very important part so this part we can say uh, we can change our um, the we can change the unit cell so let's see if we remove want to remove the unit cell so i can just click on do not want to remove cell 
and just we, all the units so if i it is a big structure i mean if i increase this structure i log the x or y direction then after that i if i want to all the units so then i click on that part so and uh, now now the line style i come this is the dotted and this is the dot dashed line so all these parts okay this part, this part i don't know very clearly now come to the atom so this is the atomic ready which ready we are want to see so this is the atomic radius now i click on ionic this is the ionic radius and if i want to vendor walls then this is this one is vendor walls so it is mostly most common use is atomic so i click on the atomic ready part now i come on the bonds so this is the different bond color line and all other things we can tune by clicking on that part so dash line or dot line this is very basic part so i come to polyhedral this is the different style type different type of polyhedral style looking so this is different part so also interface selection this part i don't know very clearly so now i come to close this part now i come to boundary so in boundary part uh, i can means repeat this crystal along x y z direction so what about let's see if i want to uh, make it two let's see just this crystal is extended two times along x direction click on y direction is also two let's see so in y direction it is also directed two times so So this is the cancel out cancel. So this is part and the orientation. So the orientation is, is along the project project along U B and W direction. And if I project to want to the um, view this crystal along normal to the mirror indices then i click on that part and if i move then these positions are matrix orientation of the atoms are changed so this is like an if i want to project in different direction let's see along one on one direction one zero zero direction apply so it will be look like that so and this is uh, this uh, orientation matrix is also changed so this is another application part now i will okay okay this is the view so so this is view and this is the boundary condition i already saw and let's see one one another features that i make it five five then i will apply let's see what happened so this crystal is five times between x direction and also y direction in z direction only 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 the means um, two time and this is the bilayer structure of mos2 and let's see now i come into the picture for observing all the unit cell view style okay tools and now yes now i can see all the unit cell of the crystal so this is the side view of uh, molybdenum disulfide structure bilayer structure and now i will show you the top view just this one is the top view of the moisture structure so if this video is helpful for you so please subscribe my channel for further that kind of video on this thank you for watching this video